We're Vampire Weekend, kicking it a big day out, and you're on AU Review. Welcome back to Australia. Thank you. It's been a while between drinks. Of course, you guys have been uh, pretty busy working on new material uh, between then, so we'll get right into it and talk about that. It's, um, I was reading quite a bit about the new record, and it seems like you were able to take your time on it a bit more this time, which was nice. Yeah, I mean, really, we took as much time as we needed to. Um, we kind of felt like there's no need to rush, so we just waited until it was good. Who'd you end up working with on, on the record? I, I know that there was a few different people that were, were in the talks. Right, it was, it was still more or less business as usual in that the four of us, Ross Tam is the producer, but then we brought in this guy, Ariel um, Rekshad, who co-produced with Ross Tam. We'd already like, written a lot of the songs at that point, and he kind of just helped us get it to the finish line, contributed cool ideas. He kind of just became like an extra member of the band. It's very laid back. Is, is there an interesting uh, collaborative process then that happens you know, with a producer uh, between the band, someone like Ariel? Well, it kind of seemed like he, f instead, I think generally what people think of as the producer sort of sits mm -hmm. behind the glass screen and like tells the band what to do, where it seemed like Ariel more was just sort of like, like wove himself into what we were already doing, so it really didn't feel you know, like, a different pro like it was a different process. So are we looking forward to getting it out? I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's got to be a bit of labor of love. Definitely. Yeah, for you guys. I mean, I'm a little burned out from working on it so hard, but <laughs> I really can't wait for everybody to hear it. Um, so now we're in that kind of like funny middle period where we're like putting the finishing touches on it and then, you know, starting to like play shows and, mm. you know, go to other countries and stuff. So the next few months will be interesting and I, soon there'll be like music out there. So how is the set going to go uh, uh, around it on the, uh, on the tour? I think that uh, for the for the big day out shows, we're going to do a lot of um, classics, mm -hmm. Vampire Weekend classics from the catalog, uh, with the greatest hits collection. Absolutely, yes. with one or two uh, of the new stuff maybe mixed in. Uh, we're playing some smaller shows, which I think is more of a venue mm -hmm. to, to experiment and try more new stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, I think you know the, the the bigger the audience is, the more they like to know what they're hearing. So <laughs> try to make that happen. Well, you're comfortable with uh, festival crowds in Australia. Of course, you did Groove in the Moo a couple of years ago, and, and you know how it all works. So um, I, think, uh, I think you guys are seasoned professionals now. Hopefully. <laughs> but we never played when it was this hot. So <laughs> That was going to be my this next is, question. This is going to be interesting. Although we just got a little bit of, of a summer rain here, so maybe it broke a little bit. <laughs> we'll, I certainly hope so for, for the bands, if I not the like pandas. I've been thinking about this as we've been doing press today. A lot of people are going to get some sweaty-ass interviews and sweaty-ass <laughs> pics. Yes. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Australia, it has been a while since you've been here. Is there anything that you're going to try and get to do while you're in, in town that, that you enjoy doing when you're here? Or do you not normally get any time off? Well, I think we're going to try to go surfing tomorrow. We, we yeah. travel to the Gold Coast for the next big day out, but we're trying to make, we have the afternoon, so maybe go surfing, eat food. Yeah. <laughs> you know, pretty standard. Did you do all the, the last time you were here or, or before that? Did you get all the... Uh, you know, pet koalas and all that out of your Oh system. yeah, we held koalas. If I never hold another koala in my life, <laughs> it'll, be, right. it'll be okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're grabby little things, aren't they? Yeah, I was surprised, but <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's everybody has to do that once, one time they well, come the, to the Australia. The place we went, they had this whole like back wall of pretty much like all the musicians from the last 10 years that have rolled through Australia, and like they, this was their koala hold spot. <laughs> yeah, I don't it was crazy. Was, you guys and David Bowie, it's just... Yeah, you know. Bob Dylan in the mid-60s holding a koala, <laughs> the Beatles holding four koalas. Yeah, yeah things like that, yeah. yeah. 